In today's session, we are going to learn about VM cluster node subsetting on Gen2 Accelerator Clouded Customer. Using the OCI console, we will look at how to provision a cluster on a subset of DV servers. Then we'll look at how to scale your cluster by adding and removing VMs. And finally, look at how to scale VM resources already allocated to a provisioned cluster. First, we will look at the cluster provisioning workflow. Now let's navigate to the Exadata infrastructure on which you want to provision your VM cluster. In this example, we have an infrastructure which has 4 DB servers and 6 storage servers. Now let's create a new cluster. The VM cluster provisioning flow now supports the selection of the specific DB servers on which you want to host your VMs. By default, all the DB servers are selected when you launch the placement screen. Here we show you the available OCPU, memory and local storage for each DB server and the VM clusters running on each of them. Based on your selection of DB servers, the max available resources per VM is adjusted to account for the least amount of storage across your selection. This also includes the reserve local storage required to host a VM. Next, you can specify resource allocation per VM. Max resource available for allocation is based on the DB servers you've selected. Now let's go ahead and provision this cluster. While the VM cluster is being provisioned, you can view the progress of your operation using the work request details page. Here you can see that this cluster has two VMs. You can also see the total resources allocated across all your VMs in this cluster. You can navigate to the virtual machines list to view all the VMs in your cluster. Every VM is identical in resource allocation. You can also navigate to the DB server hosting your VM. In this example, the first VM is hosted on DB server 2. This view gives you a summary of resources allocated per VM on that DB server. You can easily navigate back and forth between the virtual machines view and the DB server details view. Next, we look at how to add or remove VMs to scale your cluster. You can expand your provision cluster by adding VMs. In the add VM flow, the database servers already hosting a VM from your cluster are not available for selection. The newly added VMs will have the same resource allocation and guest OS image version as the existing VMs in your cluster. While the new VMs are provisioned, the cluster is marked as updating. You can view the progress of the add request by navigating to the work request details. Once the add VM request has completed successfully, the virtual machine count and the resources allocated across your cluster are updated. The newly added VMs are now listed as part of the cluster and will have the same resource allocation as existing VMs. Next, we will look at how to terminate a VM to shrink your cluster. Deleting a VM terminates any database instances running on that VM and requires additional confirmation. As always, you can view the progress of your delete request by navigating to the corresponding work request details. Once the terminate VM request completes successfully, the VM count and resource allocation is updated. The terminated VM is no longer listed as part of the cluster. For the final workflow for today's session, we look at how to scale VM resources allocated to a provision cluster. Let's navigate to the cluster you want to scale. The scale cluster flow shows you the VM count on which you're operating and gives you controls to allocate resources per VM. It also gives you a read-only summary of the resources allocated across the VMs in your cluster and is similar to the experience presented during the create cluster flow.
the VM cluster is set to updating while the scale request is in progress. You can view the details of your scale operation by navigating to the corresponding work request. Here you can see that the resource allocation summary is updated to reflect your scale operation. Once you navigate to the virtual machines list, you will see that the resource allocation is updated per VM. That's all we had for today's session. Thanks for joining us today to learn about VM cluster node subsetting on Gen2 Exerida Cloud Customer.